Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 195 and I'm going to quickly show you um, a, a, um, a better way to mount your cling stamps. It's um, I don't know where I saw this originally, um, so I've just combined that idea with how I do it into um, what what I have been doing um, lately, and it makes it a little bit easier, because um, I know I have shown um, my way a while ago, and this is even um, easier than that, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to come on there on today. Um, and, and show that quick because I know I do have some new people that watch my channel and welcome. So if you are new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So um, I come to you on Monday, Tuesdays and Fridays and a fast little video on Saturday. And um, so hopefully you can um, catch me one of those times. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel because then YouTube will let you know um, when you click that little bell thing. Um, they'll let you know when I upload a, a video or go live or whatever. And then you don't miss anything. Um, so when I was doing the cute little um, Jolly Words card yesterday from a Mimeograph Monday with a twist, I hadn't even used that stamp set yet. So then when I was mounting the set, I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't think I've gone on here and showed you how um, how I've changed a bit of how I mount. And I, so I thought, okay, I'm, I'm going to do that do that today. So I'm going to stop blabbing, or I would be gabbing here with you all day long, and we'll get started. So close your eyes just for a second while I adjust my camera. All right. So yesterday for my Mimeograph Monday with a twist, these were the adorable cards that I did. I just love how they turned out. I'm going to have to make some more of those for Christmas. And it uses the Jolly Words. So here's the little guys on there. So I'm just going to show you how I mount the sets. Now this is a cling. And what you want to do is, you know, you want to get them out of here. So this is different than, um, you know, it's different than what it tells you on here. Okay. Now what I like to do, though, is I like to peel this off. Okay. And then I lay this up as close to this edge as I can. That way it's not against this border. Yeah, because it needs to go this way. Okay, and then I just close this, push this down a little bit, and then that way this will grab <coughs> the um, leftover, and we'll put those back. So I've already did um, my joy, because I needed that yesterday, and then that's just gonna go in here. If you think that you're gonna catch edges you can cut your edge. Usually what I do is I wait till I use it. And then if I find that um, it's catching, you know, it's catching an edge a little bit, then I'll just take, remember when we had these scissors? Then I'll just go like snip, snip, and I'll just cut that little edge off that um, is catching the, the ink. That way if you get a little bit of a ghost you know, you can remove some of that. But I don't necessarily do it right from the get-go. Um, so just kind of play it by ear. Okay, so let's get back to what we're doing here. So we have our tis a season and we have our ho, ho, ho. All right. Now you want to remember to peel this off the back. Don't forget about that. Or you stick your sticker to that. Then you don't want that. All right, make sure it's the right direction. Now, what I like to do is I like to cut because they're already cut, right? They are already cut. But I like to get a little bit closer to my words and or design or whatever you're, you're mounting. And then this way... When we mount it, it's got a little bit of a border around it so that 
you can peel it. And I'll show you what I mean. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this one or not. So you can see where I've cut this one. And you can see up here, see where I've cut it? So this edge here doesn't have any sticker on it. And what it does is it allows it to break off of the, um, it allows it to kind of get off of there better, you know, because they stick really good. And if you're like me, sometimes I'm working on stuff. Um, if I'm making a bunch of Christmas cards or something, they might sit on that block a while before I take them off, you know, just because I'm working on it over a couple of days. And if that happens, then um, they stick even more. So by cutting it out a little bit, I mean, I could even go like, you know, cut in there a little bit if I want, just to kind of, um, you know, get some little grab hold areas. All right, now what you wanna do is you want the seam edge you know, we have this seam right here. You want the seam edge to face us because we want to be able to take that off. So I'm just going to go like that a little bit. All right. So then we want to peel this. And we want to stick it on our block. Right, so we're going to stick this on our block. Remember, this split edge faces us. And then, you know, just push that good. Then I'm just going to peel. So I'm just going to peel that off. And that's why it's good to get that started when you have it, had it in your hand. And if you don't have any fingernails like me. All right. So now we have the it's the season. And then what we can do is we're just going to line this up. And we can see where it is on the stamp. So see that? You can see right through. I can put it right there and now it's pretty accurate it doesn't mean it's going to be identical you know but it's going to be pretty accurate and then so see by me cutting it it gives me that little bit of a release because of that edge so let me show you one more time because I might as well mount the whole set all right so we've got our ho 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 so I'm going to have to make some more, um, I'm going to have to make some more cards with this set for my channel because it is so cute. And in fact, this is the one that I was thinking of that's current. I know we have um, ones that retired. When I was making the um, paper pumpkins and I was saying it would be cute to put... Um, like a Santa flying over those houses, this would be really cute. It's fairly big. I was, I was trying to figure the the one I have that I know is that is like just solid, so it would look kind of like a shadow of Santa. Uh, but this would totally work in a pinch. All right, so I'm just going around and cutting, you know, fairly close to the sticker. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to just make sure you have the peel side facing you. Okay, just kind of open those up a little bit. There we go. All right, and then we want to peel. Heel. Stick to our block. Okay, and then we're just gonna, you know, peel this off like before. So I kind of release those. That makes it a little easier. 
I just want it to be stuck on there pretty good. Okay. Again, peel this off. And then I stand up. So I can look right over top of it. Same thing. Look through your block. And stick it on there. And look how good that is. So good. And then see how easy it releases because you've got that little tiny bit of um, where it's just the, um, it's not the sticker, it's whatever that foam stuff is. So it just breaks that seal. All right, so hopefully that maybe if you've got some stamp sets, you know, sitting in the cupboard that you're waiting on, it just makes it so much easier. And like I said, if I ink this up and I find that, you know, this is giving me like a little edge, it's it's catching the um, that rubber, then I just go go with my scissors and I'm cutting at an angle. I'm not cutting like under it. I'm not undercutting it. That's important to know. You don't want to cut away um, the foam. You want that foam to stay there. You're just basically cutting off some of the rubber. And that's only if it catches the ink. So just stamp it a few times on some scrap paper. And if you see that, oh, okay, I am getting a little bit of like a ghost around the side or something, it's easy to just trim, you know, trim a little bit of that, that um, rubber off. All right. So let me say, see you later. Alligator, you will see I am wearing the same clothes as yesterday because I actually did this video right after my um, Mimeograph Monday so that um, I for sure was able to bring you a Teach Me Tuesdays this week. So if there's ever anything you want to see for the Mimeograph Monday with a twist, my Teach Me Tuesdays, even my dyes shorts. I love suggestions because sometimes I just am like, what can I show? What do they want to learn about? So I love, I love to hear from you. So if there's ever anything, just, just reach out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop blabbing. I will see you Friday for my dyes shorts. That will be three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. Have a great night and we'll see you then. All right, bye for now.